judged for prizes. <coughs> Hello, Miss. Can I help you get your pet ready for the fair? No, thank you. I'm almost through now. <coughs> I was just trying to be helpful. Say, that's a mighty fine looking bow you have there. cleaned up. A perfect weight. Hmm, only 37 and a half inches. Wait a minute. He's a perfect 40. The blue ribbon for the best of class. Oh boy, I knew he could win. Come on, Squealy, let's get out of here.
Mr. Schmaltz, the child psychologist? Well, it ain't Schmaltz the butcher. Yeah, so? Just leave everything to me, madam. I'll be right over. And, Professor, I just can't get Terry to mind me at all. Aha! I guarantee I will have that child acting like a little angel. A mess. The first thing I will have to do is give you a bath. I ain't taking a bath for nobody. Hmm. To make a child do what you want him to do, you must participate with him. Hmm. Terry, how would you like to go swimming with me? Hmm? Oh boy, swimming! The last one in is a rotten egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where are you, Terry? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Yow! I'm f f f f f freezing. should have a pet to keep him out of mischief. Boy, oh boy, a trick dog. You're a nice doggy. Nice doggy. to build a child's character. I'm an old cow hand, Yahoo, from the Rio Grande. And I learned to ride, for I learned to stand. Golly, are you an honest-to-goodness real-life cowboy? That's right, partner. I'm the greatest Indian fighter in the West. Really? Once, I was surrounded by a whole tribe of bloodthirsty, vile savages. And as they swooped down upon me, I started picking them off one by one. First to the right, then to the left. Bang, bang! <coughs> Ach, du Liebe! <coughs> child that if he is good, he will be rewarded. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Santa Claus! Merry Christmas, Terry! Merry Christmas! You see, Santa brings you all these toys when you are a good boy. Oh, yeah? Well, I was good last year, and you never brought the bike I asked for. Yeah! Yes, Mother dear, what is it? W would would you go on an errand for me? Why, gladly, Mother dear. Anything else I can do, Mother dear? Why, Professor, how did you make such a miraculous change in Terry? <laughs> I just used a little child psychology. That's all.
space age we are living in is a challenge to our science universities. And their students are graduating at a tremendous pace in order to supply the great demand for scientists. The electronic scientist has turned his skill towards improving our everyday living conditions. He has replaced the drudgery of housework with little buttons for every household chore. I'm sorry, honey, but I won't be able to get home for dinner. I'm working on a big deal. I understand, dear. Bye, my pet. Okay, fellas, it's my deal. Even the sportsman has benefited from scientific research. For the fishermen, a solid glass boat has been designed to spot those ever-elusive fish. The atomic scientist solves his problem by remote control. He is insulated behind a six-foot thick wall to protect himself from the deadly radioactive materials, and mechanical hands are employed to make each carefully planned move. Leisure time, created by labor-saving devices, has caused a boom in our automobile industry, and highways have to be built fast enough to accommodate the ever-increasing flow of traffic. These roads are also planned for cars of the most extreme design. The transportation scientist has anticipated the forgetful motorist's habit of running out of gas. Fill her up, buddy. Even a breakdown on the highway is no longer a problem. some trip is now broken up by viewing the very latest movies on the way. There are also side roads to keep the kiddies amused. there is one old-fashioned road hazard that we still have to put up with.
is a real good book. Why isn't he asleep having bad dreams? Good book! Bah! Hey, give me my book. You should be reading something bad. Gosh, and I was just coming to the exciting part, too. We don't want any goody-goody stuff around here. Golly, now I'll never know what happens to Ulysses. Good night, Casper. Unpleasant dreams. Poor Ulysses. He's been trying to reach home for so many years and has had nothing but misfortune. Yippee! There's Ulysses! Yay, a ghost! Oh, this is worse than all the evils I've seen in my years of troublesome travels. I won't harm you. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. Oh, we could certainly use a friend. Good. What can I do to help you? We're lost and there isn't any wind. In that case, I'll see what I can do. Casper, where are you going? To the Cave of the Winds, Ulysses. Hello, Mr. Big Wind. Hi, Casper. What brings you here? My friend Ulysses needs your help to sail his boat. Gee, I'm sorry, Casper, but I'm leaving for a big blowout. Golly, can't you spare even a small breeze, please? Here, take this bag. It has enough wind for what you need. Thanks, Mr. Big Wind. I've got some wind for you, Ulysses. I hope it's enough to blow us home. We're on our way again. Well, I guess your troubles are over now, Ulysses. Yates, a fire-breathing monster. Uh-oh, more bad luck. Maybe I can make friends with him. Be careful, Casper. Uh, hello. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm like no friendly dragon, see? I'll have to cool him off before he burns everything to a crisp. I'll try bumping these rain clouds together. <laughs> Looks like that took the fire out of you, Mr. Dragon. Ah, oh, I feel like real cool, man. Real cool and like uh, friendly, too. Come on, Ulysses. Let's get going again. We can't. While you were gone, that dragon burnt up our sail. <sighs> I guess we'll have to abandon the ship. Wait, Ulysses. Don't give up. I'll have to stretch a bit. That's great, Casper. If this wind holds up, it won't be long now. There's a tropical island up ahead. Maybe we can get something to eat here. There's no sign of life, but something smells real good. Come on, let's see what's cooking. Uh, uh, looks like someone is throwing a big feast. Funny, there's nobody home. <laughs> Who cares? Let's eat. I hope whoever lives here doesn't mind. Oh, that big meal has made me sleepy. Gosh, sounds like a whole army coming. Who are you and what are you doing in my cave? I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. A ghost, huh? Looks like you spirited away my supper. My friends were so hungry, they ate it all up. Just for that, I'll make you my permanent guest. <laughs> Ulysses, wake up. We're in trouble. Uh, 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 what's wrong, Casper? We're being held prisoner by this awful giant. Yipes! It's Cyclops, the ferocious one-eyed giant. Gulp. <laughs> Stop! You let go of my friend. Oh, oh so you want to be first. Okay. You have to catch me first. <laughs> You're trapped. You can't get out of here. That's what you think. I'll get you yet. Wait till I move this stone away. Good. That'll give Ulysses a chance to escape. So he thinks I didn't see him hide in that hollow tree. I'll just squeeze him out. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Whatever this stuff is, it sure is good. You mean you never had sweets before, Mr. Cyclops? Sweets? What's that? What you're eating is called maple syrup. Just one of the many sweets around. You know... If it weren't for you, Casper, I'd never have known about this wonderful sweet stuff. How can I ever thank you? If you really want to thank me, you can help Ulysses reach home again. Why, sure. Goodbye, Mr. Cyclops. 
And thanks for making the sale and getting us off to a flying start. With this stiff breeze, we'll soon be home. Yes, according to your map, we're going in the right direction. Oh, that scare raid was a complete fizzle. You know, fellas, Ulysses did reach home safely. How would you know? We tore up the book. Well, I can dream, can't I? Kid, you bother me.
was a narrow escape. keeping you two out of mischief. Hmm. I bet you kittens would be better off in a nice home. I hate to do this, fellas, but it's for your own good. Oh, what adorable kittens. I sure miss those little guys. Now I suppose you kitties want some milk, hmm? without my little friends. Boss, bring your horse right in. I'm got a plan of seats. That infernal pounding is interfering with the concert and must be stopped immediately. Stop the pounding. I'm a pounder for 45 years, and I'm a no stopper now. Okay, Luigi, money talks. How much do you want for this place? The Luigi family have been in this business for centuries. I'm no break the family tradition for no amount of money. You're making a big mistake. I mean, you're making a big mistake. A big mistake. Ha! 
you son of a gun. You was a here all at the time. <laughs> I'm a think she's wrong. I'm a think I'm a loser the strength. Oh no. I'm a forgot to take my iron tonic. Did someone call for a doctor? Doc, you just eat the time. I'm a loser my strength. My good man, you have an advanced case of acute flopitis. Can, can I be cured? Only if you give up your strenuous occupation. Go back to sunny Italy and retire. R retire? That's your only hope. Just one minute. I pack my clothes. Oh, mamma mia, no can leave the heirloom behind. Oh, thank you, doctor. You saved my life. Goodbye, Luigi. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, doc. Hey, look, doc, I got my strength back. The concert! Please, stop that pounding! The show must go on! The show must go on! But, but, you ruined the music! This is a music to my ears. from Mighty Eagle. Prove them, you fearless warrior. Me make them, you brave of tribe. <laughs> me bring them feather to Big Chief. Be one of me heap big brave in tribe. Him no eagle feather. Him phony. Must get them tail feather from eagle. Eagle very vicious bird of prey. This job for warrior, not papoose. Me get him real eagle feather. Show him me no papoose. Idea. What's the big idea? Me got him have eagle tail feather to become him heap big wave. Look, I'm getting thick and tired of you guys snitching my feathers. An eagle's feathers are his pride and joy. I've only got one tail feather left and I'm hanging on to it. Now go home and tell your squaw she wants you. <laughs> Skins are beginning to get under my skin. Why do 
does it always have to be an eagle feather? Why can't it be a chicken feather or something? If you don't stop trying to get my tail feather, you're gonna wind up being the last of the Mohicans. Now scram! Beat it! I gotta find some way to protect my feather. Chief Pale in the Puss. tail feather from Mighty Eagle. You no longer papoose. You now brave of tribe. <laughs> 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 Magic wand and bring them back. 
Nobody makes friends around here. Now get out and scare people. Gosh, I don't want to scare anybody. I want to be friendly. Good morning, Mr. Bull. out for that wicked old wolf.
ghost, the friendliest ghost you know. The wolf, he might look at him with fright, but we think he's all of his soul. Minus the deductions, it's the uh, six, five, eight, and one. Uh, that's uh, one thousand eight hundred and fifty-six dollars. Oh, how am I ever going to raise that kind of money? Hello, creepers, old chum, old buddy, old pal. How about lending me a sawbuck? I got a heavy date tonight. Cheapers. What a time to ask me for money. I can't even pay my income tax. Why, it's simple. Just ask your boss to advance you some dough. I still owe him the money I borrowed for last year's taxes. Gee, I almost forgot. I might have enough here to pay for the first installment. Jeepers, how could you? You wouldn't want a friend to go without eating, would you, pal? Maybe I can sell my overcoat. My overcoat? It's gone! Sorry, chum, but I had to hawk your coat to get you your birthday present. I guess I'll just have to throw myself on the mercy of the tax collector. It's my fault you're in this mess. But I'll think of something to get you out of it, buddy. Creepers! I'm gonna get that dough for you after all! Now keep that left up. Give me the old one-two punch. And don't forget the old footwork in there, buddy boy. In this corner, the undefeated against the law to hit a guy with glasses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Gosh, I'll be late for work. Come on, creepers. You only got a couple of seconds to go. collect your delinquent income tax. I am happy to say, sir, that I have more than enough to take care of it. Then there's the penalty for not paying your tax on time. 
And there's the interest on the money you owe. There. I just made it. Not quite. You still owe the tax on the money you just won. Don't give up hope, pal. I'll think of something. Look, creepers, what did I tell you? But, but, but I never rode a horse in my life. With me in there to help you, bunny old boy, you're having a thing to worry about. That's just what I'm worried about. <laughs> still owe the tax on the money you just won. Don't give up hope, pal. I'll think of something. Gentlemen, I would like to discuss the drastic decline in the profits of the Jonathan Grizzly Enterprises. There is a decided drop below our record level. In the first month, profits declined 1%. In the second month, it was 2%. Then three. Then four Z's, five Z's, six Z's, seven Z's, eight Z's, nine Z's. <coughs> now, gentlemen, let's see if we can't come up with a solution. Well, the way the dividend well, profits uh, are yes, going to be I uh, quite agree with you. Oh, it's a recession. Oh, it's a recession. Oh, uh, uh, <clears throat> J.G., uh, sir, uh, we think we have solved the problem. Very good. Excellent. Meeting's adjourned. <laughs> I take your hat and cane, sir. Oh, yes, uh, my cane. No, 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 thank you. Hello, J.G. Hello, dear. Son, how were things at the... I'm sorry, Dad, but I'm in a hurry. <laughs> What's with him? Uh, uh, J.G.? What do you want? Uh... Can't you see that I'm busy? My dear, you've been working too hard. Perhaps Dr. Dumkoff, the psychiatrist, could help. Why, a man would have to be crazy to go to one of those. Huh? I would like to put you through several tests and see if you have any suppressed desires, frustrated inhibitions, or schizophrenia of the brain. Why, you numbskull, I'll take any test you want and prove that I'm absolutely normal. We shall see. Now, I want you to make me an ink lot and tell me what you think it represents. Now, tell me. What do you see? Va 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 voom! Well, I guess we're both normal on that. Yeah. <laughs> and now for the next analysis. Do you dream that you could fly like a birdie in the sky? Your question, sir, is idiotic. With dreams like that, I'd be psychotic. Is your personality split, good or bad? Which is it? Why, you quack, you hurt my pride. You think I'm a Jekyll and Hyde. When you was a little lad, was your childhood gay or sad? Since the day that I was born, I've been miserable, wretched, and forlorn. Aha, uh -huh. that's it. You have some kind of infantile neurosis. And in order to find out what it is, you must relive your childhood. Relive my childhood? And you are now 
a little child again. Here is the old neighborhood where you was brought up in as a little kid. Golly gee, what a dan dan dandy toy. Hmm, very interesting. Give me up, horsey! Give me up, horsey! Give me my toy! Ho, 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 ho! And were you a good little boy this year? I was a good little boy this year, Santa. Look, mister, how cheap can you get? These toys are only for kids. I'm a kid and I want a toy. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. I'm beginning to dig that crazy mixed up kid. Son, that's a mighty fine toy you have there. Uh, let me show you how it works. Give me that. It's my toy. You can't have it, or you'll break it. I want my toy. I want my toy. Aha! Uh -huh. That's it. My toy. You are once again JG. Where am I? Well, you had a severe case of toy phobia caused by your old man never allowing you to play with your own toys. I see it all now. By George, Doctor, I'm cured. By golly, they sure make interesting scientific toys these days. Let me see if I could make it work. No, no, you're liable to break it. You think I'm so stupid I couldn't lay me the toy? That's right, and now you just keep your hands yeah, on the toy. I'm not stupid. Give me that toy. How silly can you get? <laughs> Two grown-up men playing with toys. I'm glad I'm cured. One Z's, two Z's, three Z's, four Z's. Contestant is little Casper, who will sing a haunting refrain. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. I couldn't be bad or mean. I love to play, sing and dance. Oh, that came from hunger. Oh, shit on the hook. And stay out. Gosh, I don't want to scare people. I want to make friends. Short, but 
I'll bet it's strong enough to carry that log. Do you really think so? Why, sure.